Where do modern humans, known as Homo sapiens, come from? How long ago was it that our first ancestors appeared? The story of the first humans is an epic tale of evolution, survival, and adaptation that spans millions of years. Humanity's roots stretch deep into the ancient past, with the evolution of our species marked by significant milestones that gradually set us apart from our primate ancestors. From early ape-like hominins to modern humans, the journey is a remarkable account of biological, environmental and social changes that gradually shaped the beings we are today. Human beings and all of our ancestors fall under the hominin species. A hominin refers to any member of the tribe hominini which encompasses modern humans, extinct human species and all our immediate ancestors. The first significant chapter in human evolution begins with the ability to walk upright on two legs, primates we call bipedal. The first appearance of our bipedal primate ancestors known as hominins was around six to seven million years ago in Africa. These early hominins, such as Sahelanthropus chadensis and Ardipithecus ramidus, were among the first to show signs of upright walking, a trait that allowed them to move more efficiently on the ground, conserve energy, and see over tall grass, likely helping them avoid predators. Walking upright was an adaptation that distinguished early hominins from their ape relatives and set the stage for further developments in human evolution. Then, around four million years ago, a new family group of hominins emerged, Australopithecus. One of the best-known species of this family group is Australopithecus afarensis, with Lucy being the most famous specimen. Found in Ethiopia, Lucy lived around 3.2 million years ago, and was a small, bipedal creature with long arms and a brain about one-third the size of modern humans. Though still ape-like in many ways, Australopithecus afarensis walked upright and showed a shift toward more human-like characteristics. The skeletal structure of Lucy and her kin reveals that they were adept at climbing trees, while also capable of moving effectively on the ground, giving them a dual advantage in their environment. As hominins evolved, their brains began to grow larger. This process accelerated around 2.5 million years ago, with the emergence of the Homo family group. The earliest members of this group, such as Homo habilis, were the first known tool users. Their use of simple stone tools marked a turning point in human evolution, allowing them to access new food sources, such as marrow from bones, which provided essential nutrients that likely supported brain growth. Homo habilis had a slightly larger brain than its ancestors, and was likely capable of rudimentary problem-solving and social interactions, though they were still far from the complexity of modern human behavior. Following Homo habilis, Homo erectus appeared around 1.9 million years ago, and became one of the most successful hominin species, spreading across Africa, Asia, and parts of Europe. Homo erectus displayed several traits that make them a pivotal species in human evolution larger brains, smaller teeth, and greater endurance for walking and running long distances. They were also the first hominins to control fire, a major technological breakthrough that provided warmth, protection, and the ability to cook food. Cooking likely improved nutrition and allowed for the easier digestion of proteins and carbohydrates, further supporting brain growth. Homo erectus was adaptable, surviving in a variety of environments, and it was this adaptability that allowed them to spread over a large geographic area. They were skilled toolmakers, creating hand axes and other tools that served them well in hunting and gathering. As Homo erectus evolved, other hominin species appeared and contributed to the complex tapestry of human ancestry. One of these species, Homo heidelbergensis, emerged around 600,000 years ago. This species is thought to be the common ancestor of both modern humans and Neanderthals. Homo heidelbergensis had a more advanced tool culture, creating spears and other tools that enabled them to hunt large animals. Their physical and mental adaptations laid the groundwork for the development of later hominins with even more complex behaviors and social structures. The next major chapter in human evolution brings us to Neanderthals and anatomically modern humans. Neanderthals, who lived from around 400,000 to 40,000 years ago, were well adapted to the harsh climates of Ice Age Europe and Western Asia. They had stocky builds and large nasal passages that helped them conserve heat in colder environments. Neanderthals were skilled hunters and tool users, 
developing sophisticated stone tools, and using them to hunt large game. They also showed evidence of complex social behaviors, including care for the sick and elderly, symbolic burials, and possibly even early forms of art. Neanderthals lived in small, close-knit groups, and had strong survival skills that allowed them to endure extreme conditions for thousands of years. Around 300,000 years ago, anatomically modern humans, Homo sapiens, first appeared in Africa. These early humans were distinguished by their larger, more complex brains, and their ability to use language, which allowed them to form more intricate social bonds, and pass down knowledge across generations. As they evolved, Homo sapiens began to develop sophisticated tools, clothing and symbolic art, reflecting a level of cognitive development not seen in previous hominins. Early humans had a significant advantage in their cognitive flexibility, which enabled them to adapt to a variety of environments. Around 70,000 years ago, they began a remarkable migration out of Africa, spreading across Asia, Europe, and eventually to the Americas and Oceania. The spread of Homo sapiens across the globe set the stage for interactions with other hominins, including Neanderthals in Europe and the Denisovans in Asia. Genetic evidence shows that early humans interbred with both Neanderthals and Denisovans, incorporating some of their genetic traits into modern human populations. This genetic mixing contributed to the diversity of modern humans, with certain genes from Neanderthals and Denisovans still present in many populations today. As Homo sapiens spread and adapted to different environments, they developed distinct cultures, tools and technologies, leading to the rich diversity of human societies that we see today. The emergence of art, culture and language represents one of the final major developments in the evolution of early humans. As humans formed larger groups, they began to create art, adorn themselves with jewelry, and use symbols to convey ideas. Some of the oldest known art, such as cave paintings and carved figurines, dates back over 30,000 years and provides insight into the minds of our ancestors. These expressions of creativity and symbolism suggest that early humans had a profound capacity for abstract thinking and imagination. Language was also a crucial development, enabling humans to communicate complex ideas, coordinate large groups, and preserve knowledge across generations. The rise of culture and communication allowed humans to thrive in diverse environments and outlast other hominin species. By around 10,000 years ago, humans had begun to transition from a nomadic hunter-gatherer lifestyle to settled agriculture, marking the beginning of the Neolithic era. This shift fundamentally changed human society, allowing for the growth of larger communities, the development of new technologies, and the rise of early civilizations. Agriculture provided a more stable food source, enabling population growth and the division of labor, which in turn led to technological and cultural advancements. Settled life also gave rise to new social structures, religious practices, and the foundations of government. The transition from hunter-gatherer societies to settled agricultural communities is one of the defining moments in human history and paved the way for the development of complex societies. The journey of the first humans, from early hominins in Africa to the spread of Homo sapiens across the globe, is a testament to the resilience, adaptability and creativity of our species. Over millions of years, humans evolved from simple tool users to sophisticated beings capable of abstract thought, symbolic communication, and complex social structures. This long journey has been marked by countless challenges, including climatic shifts, environmental pressures, and competition with other species. Yet each step in our evolution brought new tools, technologies, and cultural practices that allowed us to thrive. The first humans laid the foundation for all subsequent human societies, and their story continues to shape our understanding of who we are today. We hope you enjoyed our exploration into the first hominins to walk the earth, and invite you to join us for our next episode of The Rise of Humans, as we explore the history of humankind.